U.S. Panic If Yellowstone's volcanic system erupts, how would it impact the U.S.? On Tuesday, visitors to Yellowstone National Park fled as a hydrothermal eruption erupted a few miles north of the famed Old Faithful Geyser. No one was injured, but the event destroyed nearby boardwalks and prompted officials to close the park's Biscuit Basin area for the rest of the year. While the video and damage are alarming, the phenomenon is a normal and common occurrence in Yellowstone, occurring at least once a year. Officials with the U.S. Geological Survey told Nexstar that hydrothermal vents like the one this week are not necessarily a sign of an impending volcanic eruption. However, the explosions have sparked online discussion about what would happen if this were a sign of a Big Bang, and what would happen if Yellowstone's volcanic system were to erupt. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory says a major eruption at Yellowstone would not spell the end of humanity, but it would have national and global impacts. According to the USGS, a major eruption at Yellowstone would have regional impacts, including ashfall and short-term changes in global climate that could last for years or even decades. States closest to Yellowstone, such as Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, could be affected by damaging pyroclastic flows, which are a mixture of lava blocks, pumice, ash, and volcanic gases that flow around a volcano after an eruption. Much of the country would likely be blanketed by volcanic ashfall, in places, it could be more than three feet deep. Thick ash deposits would bury vast areas of the United States, and the massive injection of volcanic gas into the atmosphere could have dramatic effects on global climate, according to the USGS. In a study published about a decade ago, USGS scientists Larry Mastin and Jacob Lowenstern, and National Science Foundation researcher Alexa Van Eaton, analyzed where volcanic ash would fall if a super eruption occurred today. To understand what would happen today, the scientists modeled where ash has been found from previous major eruptions at Yellowstone. You can see those ash layers on the map below. The most recent eruption, which occurred about 640,000 years ago, created the Mesa Falls ash layer, which stretches east-southeast of the Yellowstone Plateau, spreading ash primarily across Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, and South Dakota. Its farthest reaches extend into New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. Even more extensive is the Huckleberry Ridge ash layer, which was triggered by an eruption about 2.1 million years ago. The eruption spanned more than 15 states today, from California east to Texas, north through Missouri to Minnesota, and west to Idaho. The largest ash plume, dubbed Lava Creek, covers all or part of 21 states and small parts of Canada and Mexico. Like Mesa Falls and Huckleberry Ridge, the Lava Creek ash plume hits a triangular area with points in California, Louisiana, and North Dakota. However, this map is based only on ash deposits that escaped erosion and rapid spreading long enough for humans to find them. It does not account for thinner deposits that may have reached beyond the area marked on the map above. Since then, scientists have used historical evidence and current weather patterns to create models of where ash from a hypothetical Yellowstone supereruption would fall. Models have been used for decades to predict ashfall during an eruption. But it's only in the last few years that Tephra models like Ash 3D have been developed that take into account changing 3D wind fields. This allows us to model eruptions that last for weeks and spread ash across continents, the USGS article about the study says. Using the model, an example of which you can see below, USGS scientists learned that, super eruptions spread ash in a very different pattern than smaller eruptions. 
Super eruptions create clouds of ash and volcanic debris that are far less affected by winds than smaller eruptions. However, the USGS notes that most of the doomsday scenarios depict impacts that are far worse than scientists believe will occur. Even the researchers associated with the above model note that if Yellowstone were to erupt, it would almost certainly not cause the ash spread described above. 